Hello, and TGI Friday on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, thanks for stopping in here for a couple of minutes to see what in the heck is going on upstairs. <laughs> we'll unpack it here. I've got a wonderful, wonderful aspect for you that you get to soak in and bake in all day long. Because at 642 this evening Eastern Time, Venus trines Neptune. Ooh. And when it happens, at least where I'm setting this thing to in Asheville, North Carolina, Venus will be in the ninth house. There's your spirituality. And Neptune will be in the fifth house, which is where my super Marsentune stellium is. So I won't be answering emails today. I won't be doing anything. Catch me over at Lake Genaluska. And other than that, it'll be under a tree singing Kumbaya. But wait, there's more. If you didn't get enough of that, two hours later to the minute, at 8.42, the Scorpio moon trines Neptune, adding even more punch to it. So this is a big water day, first of all. If you're feeling your emotions, there you go. That's why. The moon is in Scorpio, so that's the deep emotions that we've had going since yesterday. Moon moves out tomorrow early, 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 by the way, at 1.03 a.m. Eastern Time. So this is this is it for Scorpio. All the water shifts to fire tomorrow. And, of course, we have a full moon tomorrow, which we'll talk about here in a minute. And if you're calculating in your head properly, you think, well, if, it's tr if the moon is trining Neptune, it ought to trine Venus, too. Yes, 10 minutes later at 8.51 p.m. So it sweeps all of that energy today again. So you're going to feel it emotionally. There's definitely a feminine aspect to this between Venus and the moon. So your feminine side and guys, that means you, too. Put that remote down and get your journal out. There's a water sign element about this. There's a very much an intuitive piece of this. My goodness, Scorpio, I mean, that's like ultimate radar as well. So this is definitely a day to behold, for sure. A day to stand in spiritual awe, if you will, really. And you know what's sad is so many people will not be aware of this. And for those of us who are sensitive to energy and who have our antennas up, here is one of those opportunities that just comes around when the sky aligns that we're going to be able to take advantage of. So I really, truly hope that you will tune in today. It's going to be worth it. And if you have somebody that you love and care for, tell them about this podcast, because this really is some energy that you want to catch. Now, tomorrow we will not be doing a Ray Merriman because he is doing a seminar and also, I just started narrating Fred Dodson's Levels of Energy revised version book. It's not major surgery, so if you have version one of Levels of Energy, don't worry. It's going to be revised on audio. I'm starting on that now, so I'll use that time this weekend to dedicate to that project. But for those of you who will not make it through the weekend without a Let's not forget, tomorrow is the full moon. Late at night, too. Oh, it should be beautiful. At least if you're in the northern hemisphere. Eastern time is 1141 p.m. in Sagittarius. Wow. Just keeps that spiritual theme going. Now we're bringing Jupiter into the picture, and we've got the spirituality that also is everything about Sagittarius. You're probably going to put one of those little posts, the graphics up on social media telling people something inspirational because that's going to be what will be oozing out of you by Saturday night. Just make sure to not do it too much. <laughs> Keep it appropriate, right? Jupiter is the planet of exaggeration. Now, what did we talk about yesterday when I put that chart at midnight for the basically the natal chart, the origination chart for June? Remember, Pluto was right at the first house cusp. Well, here we are again. I mean, actually, this is only 20 minutes earlier, so you wouldn't expect much to change. But we do have the full moon happening, and the moon is in the 11th house, and the sun is in the 5th house, at least in my equal chart set to Asheville. There are a couple of wide fire trines. It's not a grand trine, but it is, we do have two. The moon is in a five-degree orb trine to Mars in Leo. So there's Sag Leo. Then going the other way, about five degrees, it is in a trine to Chiron in Aries. 
That is favorable fire. Typically, you think about the new moon as being the releasing period. Well, if you're angry, this would be, I mean, seriously, no, this would be a good time to let some of that anger out, maybe even through physical activity like exercise, go to the gym, go swimming, go hiking, go on a bicycle ride, this kind of thing. But also, it probably lends itself because of just that extra punch of Leo and Mars wanting to put things out there. The moon and Sagittarius bringing that spiritual aura to it. I could see some creating going on this weekend, too. And in fact, if you tie it in with Friday in that Neptune, you should be doing some vision boarding. And I'm going to mention my friend Jean Van Hull has a program on vision boarding, and she just has a tremendous amount of resources and a background in art. So if you'd like to do it really, really well, go to lifedreamery.com. She has a lot of really good energy going on there, and it's taken off, too. So it's being recognized without any effort. So that's one of those things that if you want to get into a good vibe, there you go, lifedreamery.com. But however you do it, visioning is a perfect fit for this energy. And then just to wrap up the weekend, Sunday, the new Subconscious Mind Mastery, more spiritually focused podcast will be out at 3 a.m. Eastern, and we will be doing Level Up that evening and some other good energy to do it with because Mercury will be conjoined, will be right on top of straddling Uranus in Taurus. So that means anything that I say I can just get away with. <laughs> And oh, I might. That happens Sunday afternoon just before 4 o'clock. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Wow, I hope this paints a picture of how cool of a spiritual weekend this is. So thanks for stopping by. Tell your friends about the podcast. And we'll see you back here on Monday. Monday.